Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm going to show you how to remotely access a Mac and take control of the screen. This is ideal if you have two Macs in different locations, for example, one at home and the other one at work, or if you want to provide IT support to a client or family member in a completely different location. For example, I'll use this feature when I provide IT support to my clients, typically helping them set up their email accounts or performing basic troubleshooting. So rather than getting on the phone and trying to instruct them as to what to do, I can simply take control of their Mac and set it up as required from my remote location. Without any further delay, let's get started and set up the remote computer first. If you have access to the computer directly, go ahead and follow along. If you're trying to access a remote computer, ask the person at the other end to follow these first basic steps to set the computer up for you. Step one, click on the Apple icon at the top left of the screen. Click on System Settings, General, Sharing. Then click on Screen Sharing. For Advanced Settings, click on the Information icon next to the toggle switch. Depending on how you want to configure the security of your Mac, you can click on the first option, allowing anyone to request permission to control the screen. And the next one, VNC Viewers, may control the screen with password. If you do choose to enter a password, then enter it in the field below. By the way, these steps are not necessary, so you can decide if you wanna add these extra layers of security or not. Below, you can allow access for all users on your computer or for a particular user. If you wanna create a new user, you can click on the plus button on the bottom left and add a new user specifically for IT support, for example. If you're not sure, just set it to allow access for all users. Before we leave the screen, go up to the top section and copy and paste the VNC IP address or manually enter it into an email or SMS and send it to the user who you wanna grant access to control the screen. Then click on done. Now over to the other computer that will be given access to screen sharing. Tap on the command and spacebar at the same time to bring up the search box and type in the words screen sharing. Then click on the screen sharing app. In the connect to field, copy and paste the full path to the remote computer, then click on connect. If you have the login details of the remote computer, you can enter a username and password and log in right away. If you don't have the username details, and this is often the case when you're providing IT support to a client, for example, you can select connect by requesting permission. Then click on sign in. If you chose the connect by requesting permission option, the user at the other end will see a pop-up screen, notifying them that you're requesting screen access. Tell them to click on the share screen button. And now you should see a window appear on the main computer with the full contents of the client screen. You can access the main menu, settings, hard drive, files, and even the applications in the toolbar below essentially giving you full access to control the remote computer. Hopefully by following along, you've been able to successfully enable screen sharing on the Mac. If you were not able to, it is possible that you're experiencing some kind of firewall block. To check the status of the firewall on the client computer, click on the settings, click on network, then firewall. You can momentarily toggle the firewall off and test it, or turn it on, then click on the options and make sure that screen sharing appears in the list below. If it isn't there, click on the plus button and add screen sharing. Now try establishing a connection one more time. If it still fails and shows a firewall block message, then it's possible that your router has some kind of block or restriction not allowing you to connect via VNC. You can try adding a rule to allow VNC connectivity using port forwarding on port 5900, or you can try turning VPN access on in your router settings. After doing all this, make sure to restart the Mac and hopefully these steps may have resolved your issues. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And by all means, if you have any comments or questions, drop them in the comments box below. See you on the next one. Bye for now.